If you don't know, I should let you know. I hate butcher block counters. Now, my wife's out of town this weekend and she has been begging me to finish these countertops, refinish these things. All I want is my countertops sanded. That's what we're gonna do. She doesn't know I'm working on it. So, when she comes home tomorrow, voila, these will be finished. What are we using? 80 grit and a 220. So we got an 80 grit first, then we'll slap on a 220, smooth it out. Tack claw, get all the dust, right? And then we're gonna put a matte poly finish on this. I know, I know, that's what I'm putting on it. So I don't wanna hear your comments. Matte poly, what's going on here? We don't put food on here, so we're good. We don't wanna get dust everywhere, so we have covered up all the shelves, the fridge, all the plates. I don't wanna have to wash all this stuff, so cover it all up. Yeah, you know that mess over there. That's my little office setup for the weekend, so. This is what I hate about these counters. I did use an oil on them and I put like three or four coats and you know, the oil didn't last very long. You can see all these rings from the wine bottles and just water spots. And that's why we have to go in with the 80 grit first to uh, really take down these, these spots. So I'm gonna show you, you gotta bear down on this pretty good to get, get these spots out. So here we go. All right, Luke, come take a look at this. This is where that spot was. You can see just a little bit of it left right there. Hit it one more time. should be wearing a dust mask, okay? If you have any other technique though, I would like to hear other techniques for doing this, so let me know how you would do it. Comment below. I always wear a dust mask. Amy's gonna be mad. This is my favorite lamp. If anything were to happen to this lamp, I'd probably divorce her. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> what do you want? Last sand. Well, you might want to empty this frequently as well. Almost full. I think most of the sawdust is in the air now. Yeah, that's true. I'm already stuffy, so I can't. It's not gonna bother me. It burns. It burns my eyes. It burns my nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little dramatic. So, we're gonna let the dust settle, so to speak, and then we're gonna clean this place up. So, the real reason I wanna update this kitchen is to prevent me from having to do this every, I don't know, six months. It's a mess. See all the dust here on the plastic. Good thing I covered up all the dishes. It's a mess. The dogs hate it. He's whining over here. I'm gonna have to bring a cleaning lady in tomorrow while I'm at work. I don't have a screwdriver. So, we're just making what we have. This is how to make your wife happy. So we're using a nylon brush for poly and stains. So you're literally just gonna take this on here, guys. It's gonna be a matte finish, so you won't see any shine to it. It's gonna be flat finish. A lot of people will probably say, you know, you should probably sand in between coats. You probably need to put three coats, but. We're not doing that, okay? We want these counters gone. So we're doing two coats. You wanna do just enough to suffice your wife? That's right. That's but not enough to make, to it, make it worth bad. keeping. I totally forgot about our montage. Hit it!
So this is literally like one of my least favorite things to do in life. So if you enjoy this, I want to hear your comments. Please let me know how you enjoy this. How do you enjoy this? subscribe to our channel and leave us some comments i want to hear uh, you know how you would do this different or better or if you liked how i did it i don't know peace out